Hi, I'm Jose Antello, President and Project Lead for Tiny Rover. Tiny Rover is a URC-focused design team and educational club based out of California State University Fullerton. The educational club demos older rover platforms in an effort to inspire future generations of scientists and engineers. The design team sets out to design, prototype, and manufacture a competitive rover for URC. After reflecting upon their past performance at URC 2019, Titan's rover design team has challenged itself to redesign the robotics, mobility, and science subsystems. I am proud to introduce Kronos. The robotic arm was designed prioritizing functionality and manufacturability. It features five degrees of freedom and CNC machine extruded aluminum tubing for structural members. A stepper motor coupled with a lead screw and two guide rails drives the vertical translation of the robotic arm, while two other geared stepper motors drive two rotational joints to achieve rotation in the X, Y, and X, Z planes. A prismatic joint is used to extend and retract an adaptive two-finger end effector. A modular two-finger adaptive end effector was designed to facilitate both clasping and encompassing of objects of interest. Our robotic arm can carry payloads of up to 5 kilograms in mass, has the ability to touch the floor and reach up to service our lander, pull on a rope with a payload attached, flip switches, type on the keyboard and tie in a captive screw. This year, the electrical system has the advantage of being highly modular with our components installed into removable aluminum housings. The conductive housing acts as a Faraday cage, protecting our sensitive hardware from harmful electromagnetic interference. The mobility sub-team is responsible for the chassis, drivetrain, and suspension. The mechanical foundation of the rover platform and space frame chassis was designed to hold all system components while withstanding the static and dynamic loading conditions experienced during URC competition tasks. The unique octagonal geometry of the space frame chassis extends the platform's wheel base without extending the length of the chassis. It also establishes the wheels as the first point of contact in the event of collision with obstacles while transversing difficult terrain. We reduce the size of the chassis to allow for the entire rover to fit within a 1.2 meter by 1.2 meter frame without disassembly. This year we've upgraded our onboard computer to the NVIDIA Jetson Xavier to ensure smooth operation from the base station. We've incorporated a pan tilt camera system mounted on our antenna mast. We have also overlaid INU data on our camera feed for navigation through rough terrain. For that we use a 433 MHz Yagi and dual band mobile antenna which has given us approximately 1.6 kilometers in range through heavy interference on campus. Our base antenna uses INU and GPS data to continuously track the position of the rover and maintain line of sight. Our autonomous system was designed using multiple test platforms to allow us to test anytime, anywhere. We use INUs, a centimeter accurate GNSS, a 2D LiDAR, a rangefinder, and a stereo camera. Our stereo camera is used to track the AR tag as well as to provide depth perception and perform 3D mapping functions. Our custom best first search algorithm continuously reroutes our path as new obstacles are encountered. It uses LiDAR odometry and point cloud data to adjust the speed and direction of the rover. We generate a concentric circles waypoint list two meters apart. After a post is found, the rover rotates in place approximately two meters in both directions to search for the second post. Once located, the rover centers itself two meters away from the gate and drives one meter past the post. This year's science configuration will deploy an excavating arm into sites of interest for the extraction of soil. The collected sample is then released into the soil distribution funnel where it will be incrementally dispersed for each experiment. The rover will assess extracted samples by using microscopy and ion exchange chromatography for the detection of microorganisms. Microscopic imaging will allow for the visual verification of single-celled and multicellular organisms, along with the potential of identifying convergent evolutionary characteristics that parallel the morphology of microorganisms found on Mars-like environments to those found on Earth. By running the sample through an ionic exchange chromatography column, any partly charged protein sample will be stuck to the beads and then subsequently be analyzed for the absorbance in order to be compared to naturally occurring protein complexes and their absorption spectra. Following the chromatography, the puree assay will provide a significant color change due to the chemical reaction of proteins with the puree reagent. Our rover has been outfitted with qualitative tests for detecting life similar to that on Earth. By adding hydrogen peroxide to sediment samples, a technique that is normally used in labs to remove unwanted organic content without damaging the sediment grains, it is possible to detect catalase. Catalase is an enzyme that is found in nearly all living organisms that forms a protective barrier against oxygen. For close quarters analysis of geological samples, the arm features a higher 
high resolution camera at its extremity. Tonight, Rover stands ready with a rigorously tested platform. We look forward to seeing you in Utah.